hi guys and welcome back to my channel um, this video is going to be talking about um, what chemical engineers do and what exactly a chemical engineer is this was requested by Miss Gabby 1999 so I just want to say thank you for leaving your comments and your feedback and I also want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel everyone who watched the video who liked the video who shared the video I am very grateful thank you so keep the feedback coming, I like that. Okay, so now let's go into the video. What is a chemical engineer? So basically, in plain English, a chemical engineer is a person who designs processes or improves processes to produce an end product. So if you look at things like your phone, your speakers, cheese, what can I say like um, your plastic bottle fall for your car all those things involve chemical engineers we design processes that's what we are contrary to popular belief we're not chemists most people think we're just like playing with chemicals and all that we're really not we're design processes we're designing processes to produce those chemicals for you to be able to gain the skill of designing processes you need to know the basic things about what ex what's expected of you as a chemical engineer, which is why we go to college or we go to university to learn these things. So you need to know things like how fluids work. When I say fluids, I mean liquid, gas, and solids of different types of chemicals, water, ammonia, methane, peroxide, like different types of chemicals. You just need to know how they may affect your process. You need to know general equipment that we work with to produce these processes, such as pumps, heat exchangers, distillation columns, things like that. You need to know separation processes, how you separate liquids from liquids, how you separate liquids from gas, how you separate gas from solid, things like that. You need to know analysis. So if you want to analyze something, what method are you going to go with? Are you going to like analyze it using um, infrared, are you going to analyze using spectroscopy? I'm sorry I'm going into so much detail this, but I'm trying to make a point so you'll understand. So I'm saying after you learn all these things throughout your four or five years of chemical engineering, then you would have gained enough knowledge to design processes for large-scale work. So after you gain the skills and you graduate, you go into the field of chemical engineering You'll be able to provide methods and ways that they can go about executing different plans and executing different projects. So that's basically what a chemical engineer does. Industries that we can work in are numerous. You can work in almost any industry. You can work in pharmaceuticals, water treatment, oil and gas, food processing, cheese, milk, I keep on saying cheese, but yeah, we can work in that. We can work in plastics, cosmetics, all that fun stuff. Literally where any chemical is um, involved, we can work there because we design the process to produce those chemicals in a large scale. Plastics for your phone, plastics for drinking, any type of, we design those processes to make those things. That's what we do. So, some misconceptions about us is that we're going to be in a lab every day testing chemicals and all. No. That's the job of a chemist or someone who studied chemistry or did that kind of thing. Except you're doing research to improve processes, like I said, we improve processes. So, if you're doing research to analyze things and um, test things, then yeah, you'll be in a lab trying to test out things and get results so you can make improvements. But generally, chemical engineers are able to work in any kind of situation. They could work in, they could go into the field, like people who work in oil and gas, they could do field work. They go out to the, they go offshore or they go onshore to go do, like execute drilling plants to drill the oil out. So that's what we do. They could work in a chemical plant where they actually wear hard hats and like they walk around trying to execute plans to produce those chemicals. Or they can work in an office to execute plans on how they can implement processes. So notice how the keyword in this video has been processes. We design processes. And it's a wonderful thing. 
it's wonderful because our services are always needed. They always need chemical engineers to help out and do something. So the amount of jobs available for us are numerous, which is a very, very good thing. So going into why I chose chemical engineering, that is the main fact of it, that we can work anywhere. And that was very intriguing to me. I was like, oh, I would always seem to have my services required in some company or in some industry and that's wonderful and how would you know if you would succeed I don't want to say succeed but how would you know if you have a knack for chemical engineering um, so I'll just tell you a breakdown of what you'll need from high school to become a chemical engineer so you need to be very strong in chemistry you need to be very strong in physics you need to be very strong in math and also English because we communicate. That's what engineers also need to understand. You have to communicate with one another to design processes. And if you don't communicate well, that's when disasters happen because there was a lack of communication. Sorry, the lighting is going off and on. But yeah. So that's what that those are the subjects you'll need to be very good in to get into engineering and to kind of have a good foundation that can help you succeed in the program. So I hope this video has been helpful. I just wanted to give a very brief overview so you can understand what exactly chemical engineers do or what we are about. And if you have more com uh, more questions or you have comments about this video, leave it down in the comments section. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.